Welcome to Word Bites, friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big-time changes to you. I'm Wumi Ademola. Friend, face it, you can't avoid it. At some point or the other, somebody's going to offend you or is going to be offended at you. Jesus said it, offenses will certainly come. And even he, he had his own fair share of offenses from the Jewish authorities and even from his own cousin. I tell you sometimes that's the kind of offense that even hurts the most when it is from somebody that is so close to you. However, Jesus from his own personal experience shows us how to handle offenses when they come. There is a right and wrong way to handle offense. And so let's talk about how to handle offense looking at Jesus Christ's own personal experience. First of all, the Lord Jesus Christ showed us that when somebody is offended at you, don't take it personal. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ exemplified to us. He never took offense personal. He didn't take offense as a personal attack against his person, but rather as a misunderstanding on the part of his offender. And so as a result, Jesus never responded to offense with confrontation. You will never see Jesus Christ respond to his offender by confronting them in an aggressive way, but rather he responded with clarification, giving them more insight. For instance, when his cousin was offended at him, obviously because Jesus Christ you know, hadn't visited him, obviously was offended that he was in prison, and here is the Messiah preaching to people outside, and here is his own cousin in prison. So John the Baptist was kind of offended, but look how Jesus Christ responded uh, to, to John the Baptist when he was offended. The Bible says that when John had heard in prison about the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said to him, that is said to Christ, are you the coming one or do we look for another? Now look how Jesus Christ responded because John here was obviously offended that Jesus is out there doing all these miracles and he cannot use the same power to get him out of prison. And so John was offended and he sent disciples to ask Jesus, are you the coming one or should we expect another? Now this was the same John who from the first had announced that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, Jesus Christ is the one, but because it was in a tough spot, he, was, he got offended at Christ. And look how Jesus Christ responded in verse 4. Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things which you hear and see. The blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And then now he says, Blessed is he who is not offended because of me. So instead of him to respond with aggression or confrontation, Oh, John, what do you mean? What does he mean by that? He went on to clarify, to kind of reassure him that he is the coming one. And so he didn't respond by confrontation. He responded by clarification. And I tell you, sometimes, you know, when people are offended at us, it's because they've misunderstood us. They, they don't have the whole picture. And what you want to do in that situation, instead of um, reacting in an aggressive and angry way, just, you know, kind of make things plain to them. Clarify, don't confront. Now, secondly, the Lord Jesus Christ, the way he handled offense was this. He spoke positively about the person who offended him. And we see that that's what he did. No matter who offends you, do not speak, uh, don't, do not respond with harsh words. Do not respond with unkind words. Jesus Christ, just after he had, you know, got to know that John the Baptist was offended at him, he spoke positively. He spoke good and kind words about John the Baptist. And so we read further down that Jesus praises John the Baptist and and he speaks well of John the Baptist. In verse 10 and 11, he says, For this is he, speaking of John the Baptist, whom, of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before you, who will prepare your way before you. And then he now says something awesome in verse 11. He says, Assuredly, I say to you, among those born of women, there has not risen one greater than John the Baptist. I mean, tell the truth. Where somebody is offended at you, our natural human response is to just lash back with the same angry words. But that's not what we see Jesus Christ do here. Instead, he spoke positively. He spoke great words. He spoke highly of John the Baptist. So never speak evil of somebody when they wrong you. 
Always speak good. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 5, 45 through 45, 44 through 45. He says, love your enemy. Bless the one who curses you. He says, do something wonderful for the one who hates you and respond to the ones who persecute you by praying for them. So that's the way you're supposed to respond. When people speak evil of you, when people are offended at you, you speak kindly. You do wonderful things for them. And last but not the least, oh, I love this. Do not pay your offender back in the same coin. The Lord Jesus Christ, we're told in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21, it says, Christ suffered. Let me take it from verse 21. He says, these things are all a part of the Christian life to which you have been called. Christ suffered for us. This shows us we are to follow in his steps. He never sinned. No lie or bad talk ever came from his lips. And pay attention to verse 23. When people spoke against Jesus, he never spoke back. When he suffered from what people did to him, he did not try to pay them back. He left it in the hands of the one who is always right in judging. He left the matter in the hands of God. So my friend, how do you handle offense? Don't take it personal. All right, don't take it personal. Speak positively of the person who offends you. And most importantly, never ever pay evil for evil. Instead, repay evil with good. I do trust you were blessed today. Please, if you've not already done so, subscribe to this channel, Knowing God Media. Hit the red notification bell. It's real easy. And also hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And of course, follow all my social media handles, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. God bless you.